Well, get this, the Earth is experiencing the biggest solar flare on record. That's what's on Matt's mind today. Matt, this is cool. Tell us about it. This is the biggest solar storm we've seen of this cycle. The, uh, the sun has an 11 year cycle where we go from a solar minimum, which means there's very little sunspot activity so to a solar maximum, which means there's a lot of solar activity. And now there's a lot of solar activities. We head towards that maximum. And this is what happened yesterday on the sun. Watch the southern hemisphere. That's what it's called on the sun. See those three big spots. Those are giant solar flares coming off of sunspots. And when they're directed towards Earth, which they were this time, it sends a whole bunch of highly energized particles and ions towards Earth. Watch here. This is directed towards Earth. This is one of NASA's satellites. They block out the disk of the sun so you can just see the flares coming off. Pretty impressive there. So, of course, the sun's roughly 93 million miles away, so it takes time for these to reach us. But already yesterday, there were shortwave radio blackouts in the southern hemisphere. So the solar storm is coming. The question is, will it spark the northern lights? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. This one has a good chance because it was Earth directed. All those particles are headed towards us, which means all that energy will hit Earth's, at, at mag, Earth's magnetic field and funnel down the magnetic lines and get farther south than they normally do because there's so much energy there. So this is from the University of Alaska Fairbanks showing their prediction for the um, auroral oval, as it's called. And what to focus on here is this green line. The green line is where, north of which is where the aurora would be visible. It's clear down in Northern California, all the way down to Oklahoma and Tennessee. We hardly ever see it get that far south. We have seen it get that far south, but it's a rare event. So if indeed this happens, then we stand a really good chance of seeing the northern lights. Now, a couple of caveats on this. Northern light forecast, you think weather forecasting is tricky? Northern light forecasting is way more difficult. It's, it's very, very squirrely. I, mean, I can't tell you how many times it's, hey, we got a chance to see the northern lights, and we don't. We did a couple weeks ago, though. There were some good images of that a couple weeks ago. So that's one thing. The other thing is, it could be that all of that energy excites and perturbs the Earth's magnetic field and, and sets off the northern lights, but it's in the daylight part of our world and it's nighttime in, say, Europe, and then we miss it. So that's a, a, a potentiality as well. It's all about the timing, but this one is looking pretty good for us. It was a class G3 geomagnetic storm, which is the strongest that the Space Weather Prediction Center even puts out. So we've got a better than average chance, plus it's happening on a weekend, Plus, we have a clear sky. So all those things are coming together and the moon not really a factor this time around either. So possible northern light show this weekend. I can't stress this enough. You need to get away from the city lights. If you're just going to pop out in your backyard in the middle of town and look for them, you're probably going to be disappointed. But we've got the potential to have them be seen as far south as northern California, which is pretty amazing. We're going to have the clear sky, which is great. Again, look north after midnight is typically best. Get away from those city lights and hopefully we'll be treated to a really great show. Ashley. Oh, I cannot wait to see if there's any uh, video or photos next week. Maybe we can I bet there up. will be from somewhere, but yeah. uh, hopefully a lot of people will be able to see it because so many people have not. I know it's on the bucket list for a yep. lot of people and having seen them myself several times, it truly is amazing. It's one of the, the great natural phenomena here on sure. the planet. So it's not to be missed if they do come out. If somebody rings you up and says, hey, the lights are visible, <laughs> get out of bed. Go get out there. Wake up. Yeah. <laughs>